Are you gonna do the 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 flex thing? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome in, welcome win, welcome back. You have found us once again. Shoot the gap, the uh, rabbit hole fantasy football show, spanning the generation gap of the twenties, thirties, and forties. Sans thirties tonight. Doc <laughs> is sick, so salute to our friend. Yeah, he said, uh, you know, uh, this is Connor's joke, not mine. Uh, so you go and say it, man. It's funny. The doctor <laughs> called in sick. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're we're undocked. We're undocked right now. Um, so we're doc to doc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, man, this is this is a safe place, right? We can share, right? Right. This yeah. is the first week. First yeah. week of fantasy football, and uh, you know, man, you know, you know how long I spent, dude. You know how long I spent. You know, I spent many hours, many months. You know how, how many, how many, how many mock drafts I have up there? Like, like two hundred, something like that. I'm at. I thought it was yeah. four hundred. <laughs> well, I'm being modest. Uh, you know, but yeah, dude, it was a lot, a lot, dude. That's a lot of mock drafts, a lot of planning, uh, a lot of listening, a lot of reading, a lot of research, a lot of trusting my gut, trying to figure out what I did wrong last time. I hear that. And my team's the lowest scoring team on the in the league, man. Ryan, yeah, I'm just not feeling it, dude. Uh, no, no, Amigo. dude. I don't know, no, man. No, no, no. I don't know. All right, is it worth DJ, it, Connor? DJ, Connor, cut the music. Nah, not on my time. All is right. it worth it? Is it's, it worth it, dude? Is it really not, worth it, man? It's not I, worth it. I'm just man. six months older. I'm just six months older. That's all I am. Look, you want me to give it to you straight, ladies and gentlemen? It looks like the Amigo needs an Amigo tonight. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out my Amigo sharpie and i'm gonna highlight a couple of things about brian's team that are good and he's not ah, are you gonna bring my forward. team up dude oh I come am. on now okay. one thing that's great about your here's team is here's poop and here's your face yeah blah, blah, blah. no here's Thanks, here's the man. first thing here's the first uh, thing i know yeah. how you are about auspicious numbers and you should feel great because you scored 66 point 56 points <laughs> no so you dude. got a five in between the sixes <laughs> thank the lord see someone's thank the looking, lord someone's looking out for you <laughs> are now, they really i Stand i'm, up. I'm, I'm Wait, making okay. a joke because it's still auspicious because there's still three six how many players do i have left to play connor how many how many players do i have left to play you have a player One. who's worth 6.66 6, 6, like act like full humans cuz it's Derrick Henry. <laughs> like the man's a freaking monster. He he weighs he's here's the thing. He's 6 foot 3 and he's 250 but he still has abs. Do you realize how big you have to be <laughs> to be that? He is Arnold. he is like yeah, that's that's like some no, that's not Arnold. That's Predator man. <laughs> That's that's just like I'm bigger than you. I'm better than you. I have the Heisman. I have all okay. the high school rushing records. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Okay, for two thousand yards last year. You should. Yeah. You should feel good about that. Diggs and no Darrington Evans. No, Diggs, no Darrington Evans. You yeah. paid late for Diggs. Diggs got you twelve points. Guys, here's the thing. Here's Brian's team. Okay, I don't have it pulled up, but I'm gonna read it off. He had Tom Brady, who got him twenty two points. DJ Moore, who busted, got him 7.4 points. Uh, Stephon Diggs got him 12.6 points. Derrick uh, Henry, not yet played. Austin Eckler, 9.2 points. He busted. Uh, that is not second-round pick material. Uh, Austin Eckler, man, he got 19 rush attempts for only 84 yards, only one target. This what is about the, the goal guy. line? He was what about the goal line? Uh, who got the goal line? The goal line work, man. You lost it. Yeah, but we had no idea. We had no idea because we had no preseason. You know, um, so yeah. like, I, you know, man, I, I don't. You yeah. know, it's first week. Uh, I don't know if that's a trend or what that what that is. Dude. Well, look, man, I'm in a similar boat as you because I had Joe Mixon, and uh, you know, of course, I feel responsible for jinxing Joe Mixon. He fumbled <laughs> today for the first time yeah. in forever. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. uh, you know I'm I'm not sitting him. I'm starting him next week. I had Josh Jacobs who got me three touchdowns, and I got Jonathan Taylor who, uh, because of an injury, is looking to be the leader in the Colts' backfield. So things are mm -hmm. looking up. Now you have Hayden Hurst, which I've been very open with you about my distaste for. But you also have uh, Dallas Welcome. Goddard, so I would start Dallas Goddard. 
Where's Dallas Goddard? Where where was he's he? He's on your bench. You picked him up. I know. You're and losing many, this week, but what I'm saying is, how many have, points did he have? He had twenty. On my bench. Yeah. Here's the important thing. Here's the important thing. Moving forward, you have a team that can score 120 points, and that's what you want. You want to aim for 120. <laughs> you do. Yeah. If I, I mean, dude, come on, man. Who, who knew? Who knew? I mean, like Zach. King, okay. This is what's making me like making me like not not go off the edge, other than this pep talk, um, is uh, that uh, you know Zach Ertz owners. I mean, you poor fellows. Holla um, at me, Zach Ertz owners. Um, dude, I'm, I'm a, they got, I think, uh, Goddard got one that. more target. Goddard got one more target than him, so they're pretty much splitting But he targets. got the touchdowns. Yeah, right, right. Well, I mean, Ertz did get a touchdown, but, uh, but the deep throws and stuff like that was to Goddard. And that's why, like, my flex, who was on my flex, man? Who was going to be my rocket fuel? Who was going to blast me in the atmosphere and just, uh, Deshaun just, uh, Jackson. was it? Yeah. Pump and dump, Mister Pump and Dump. Pump but turned out just to be, just now, just dump. <laughs> I, mean, dang. I, yeah, I, I, I did tell you to start Deshaun Jackson, so I do feel responsible. Dude, and I'm every sorry. Every single thing you read, everything you heard, I'm in everything, everywhere, dude, everywhere, everywhere. It said start Deshaun Jackson. That he's a he's gold in week one. That's what it said. Well, look, this this week of fantasy, not everyone was right about everything. I certainly wasn't. I was right about some things. Here are some of the things I was wrong about. Fitz magic was <laughs> what I was hoping for, and Fitz tragic is what I got. Uh, he's still got a good beard, though. I heard he's going to grow it out longer. Yeah, his kids yeah. want him, too. Real yeah, sweet that's, dad. That's pretty sweet. Well, real well. real class act, real great guy, real mm-hmm. sharp guy. Uh, yeah. It's it's obvious that, look, I, I – uh, I pump and dumped the situation with Mike Gesicki and Matt Breida, Mr. Wolverine. Again, it's you just, didn't pump anything. You didn't pump anything. I didn't anything. pump anything. I just, just dumped. dumped. It was the you worst possible situation I could have asked for week one. So I, you know, just. Uh, dump. That's the great things about having a, a waiver free wire league guy. So, uh, there are guys. some rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, you're right about that. You're right. You're definitely right about that, man. Yeah. Um, so, um, okay. But yeah, I played D Jacks and, um, been right before the, um, right, right before the game started, I found out Galladay finally. And see, this is another thing that frustrated me. Like my day started off, like my fantasy football week started off bad, you know, to begin with, because Galladay came up gimpy, you know, on Wednesday. Right. And then Mr. Matt Patricia tried to do the whole Billichick. I'm playing with the other team's mind. Is Galladay going to start? Is he not going to start? Blah, 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 right? Well, the whole time, man, he's just sitting there with a D for doubtful, which I can't put him in IR. So it's just sitting there like the whole time. In the, and as I'm sitting there, just people were just picking off, off a wave of wire, stuff that I was going aiming for. Bam, bam, Here's what you bam. need to remember. There's only one thing you need to beat Bill Belichick. Do you know what that is, Brian? What's that, man? Eli Manning. <laughs> Bill. Where's Bill? Dude, oh, did he join the chat? Oh, oh, that was you, dude. I'm I got sorry. Prince Cam. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> you think you're the best quarterback, Tom Brady? <laughs> Bill. <laughs> yeah. I'm no, yeah, Cam man. Newton I win a Super Bowl, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when Galladay finally was out, when Galladay was finally out, I put him into IR and I picked up uh, Crowder because Crowder was there. Um, uh, courtesy of. You're welcome. Uh, you can't. <laughs> You can't give me shit anymore for letting letting you get uh, for for Hunter Henry, and for uh, getting Dalvin Cook the first year because I I you got Crowder Hunter because Henry. of me, and and I got you. Who did I tell you to pick up? Who did I who did I tell you to pick up? Just now? Yes. Oh, uh, Mr. Malcolm Brown. Mr. Malcolm Brown, who has what twenty points, and there's still a whole quarter to play. Twenty point nine. He has twenty point nine. Whoa, he got a whole point nine more points. Hey, that's nine yards. That's that's good. That's enough. Like, and see, that's something I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm glad you brought that up because, um, like right now, I can't. Um, of course, I'm going to drop the uh, the stinky piece of cheese, uh, Djax. I'm going to drop him off my off my roster. Um, pump but and dump. I, yeah, but I can't no do pump, that. No pump, double dump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a song. Set that to music. Uh, but uh, so, but I can't drop them right now because it's um, 
it uh i he's in my roster and so yahoo has no matter if you have no waiver wire or not it has a rule saying that if uh the player has played that day that you cannot edit them right well that day lasts till about two o'clock in the morning okay and so unless you want to stay up till two o'clock in the morning you gotta you gotta figure things out or risk it and so um i didn't want to risk it because i figured that this is national television uh, most people are watching right now, and they're going to be watching Malcolm Brown and going like, "Hang on, okay, he's he's taking the the, the lead snaps in LA uh, on the Rams. He's got two touchdowns. He's getting the goal line work. Huh? Who can I drop to get right? So uh, what I ended up doing, and as you guys know, I, I drafted my love target, but I did drop uh, Ryan Tannehill to get him. I'm going to try to get him back. Hopefully, I get him back, uh, but we'll see. Uh, but um, the um, but I thought the risk was worth it. Because of the situation that I'm in with Eckler, you know, I mean, I, 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 I have, I don't know what I have with Eckler, you know, I mean, I want to think that this is just one thing, but you know, I'm not freaking out. Freaking out would be getting rid of, of, of Eckler, you know? And, uh, and one thing I wanted to like, uh, bring up, I think I, to- I told you this already, Connor, but I'm going to say it again on, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, a definition of suicide, you know, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Right. Mm -hmm. How do I not know that Eckler is a temporary problem or Joshua Kelly being a temporary problem? How do I know? I don't. You were talking about DeAndre Swift, that I should drop him. um, But how do I know that's not a temporary problem? You know, I I do think that uh, I I don't think that. uh, I mean, I could be totally wrong, but I don't think that Detroit's backfield problems are going to unfold perfectly for a bell cow role for DeAndre Swift. I mean, I, I seriously hope I'm wrong, but I don't think Adrian Peterson is going to get injured, dude. Yeah, we'll like, see. He's, but well, we don't know. We yeah, don't know. That, that's the thing. We don't. We don't know. But it's like, I mean, he's. Say, man. He's, say, man. Say your 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 microphone is 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 hypnotizing me. Yeah, keep it still. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. yeah, I am under your power. Tell me, die, or tell me, gut. Tell me what to do. Give yeah. me your best play. <laughs> okay, you can have Eckler. <laughs> I don't want him. <laughs> Ew. This is a temporary problem. I like David Montgomery more. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. Uh. Please See, continue. that's that's the thing is that's why it's like I'm not gonna trade with you because like, I w- if I was to be honest with you, it's like I would give you David Montgomery for Eckler, but I wouldn't give you anything more. Like that's that's like I like I value well, dude, Taylor. Why would you? Him. Why would you? Why would you at at this point? This is like the worst time to try to sell Eckler. Yeah. Right. This is I mean like right nine points. Oh here, take this, take this potential. I'm sure he's gonna get better. You know, no, dude. I mean, you. I would have to wait for him to have two breakout games, not one, but two, and then you know, uh, then I could probably sell him for something. You I know, mean, so, but I, he is a name. He is a name. So I mean, it's something like you can offer, like maybe for like Michael Thomas, since you said you know, like he's injured. Yeah, you know, maybe. Maybe may, you know, maybe like if if I want to get a little frisky with it, I could do that. You know, but I honestly I just... would try that if I were you. If I had Eckler, <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I would do that tonight. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh wow, okay. That's just me being in 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 the in the pocket of honesty. So I have Kenny Galladay's hurt. So Kenny G. One. So then Where I have another one. Be? I get I get Michael Thomas who's hurt. That's that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So no man. When we're, we're 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 taping this, people on a on a Sunday night, the yeah, Cow- the Cowboys yeah. and Rams are playing right now. Yeah, yeah, they are. And they are. Uh, what we're what we're here to do? Let's let's talk about the matchups, Brian. I'm gonna. Can we match? Can we talk about one thing first? Yeah. Real quick, I think it's really important that yeah, we've gone way too. Lay, lay it on me. I like uh, this is a good time for us to thank the supporters of the show, uh, High Volume Music Radio. Okay, so make sure and download their their app. They are the pride of Sunnyside. All right, and when you download that that app and you listen to that music and you hear that content that you get from just a free app, you will understand why they're the pride of Sunnyside. We're on it, but uh, there's a lot of um, there's a, a fine fine DJ uh, Anthony uh, Anthony Frazier. He goes by Aunt Boogie. A uh, really really good um, good friend of mine. Really cool guy. Great guy. I mean seriously, he does a really a lot of good things for the community. He's the one who started this uh, the station uh, for Sunnyside. So. Uh, you'd be helping supporting uh, a local uh, Houston uh, guy getting up off his feet. So please download that app. Uh, you'll be really happy that you did. 
and our other uh, supporter, Sports Host App. Why don't you go ahead and talk about that, Connor? Well, Sports Host App, first of all, shout out to all of my companions in the Bo Jackson Sports Hosts League. It is a great international community. We have people from all over in this league. We're playing with, I want to say, three other Houston fans. We got a couple of, uh, I think we have a Giants fan. We have a Seahawks fan whose name is GoHawks12. So a lot of a lot of there's even some pro Josh Gordon energy in this in this uh, environment. So it has my stamp of approval, for sure. Um, oh, twenty two point seven for Malcolm Brown now. Uh, yeah. So um, it, yeah. It, it 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 keeps giving, doesn't it? Yeah. Since we we don't have Doc, we also don't have the soundboard. So that's where you'd hear the flash. Ah, we well, you know talking about Flash Gordon. So. You got, yeah, you we got really would have that. Yeah, you got, you got to gather, but I don't know. I can't. I can't do the yakety sack. So we're completely out of luck on that one. Well, um, um let's let's talk about. Uh, yes. Let's let's let's, let's 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 do it. Did I introduce you? Did I introuce you ever, Connor the Gut Marshal? <laughs> okay, just there we did. go. All there right, is. there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Let's and and if you guys notice a certain lilt to my voice, uh, a certain happiness, and maybe. One might 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 describe as hope. It's because of the talk by uh, Connor, and uh, I appreciate that, man. And you know that that's a really good point. What you just did, you know, um, this is week one. You look for stuff that um, that like if you took a shot on, you know, like those are late round things that he gave up. Uh, Connor gave up on was uh, Brita and Gasicki. That was late round, you know. So what 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 was it like nine eleven something like that, you know, for those guys, you know. So yeah. It, it wasn't it wasn't too too deep so his core is still intact he's fine you know and so he he um if you don't mind telling him what you did i mean you dropped brita and Gisicki. yeah uh, I, I can go over my team um so i have i i had i had some i was right about some things i uh kyler murray and aaron Rodgers were both great picks at quarterback Rodgers got me 30 i started murray he got me 27.3 um i drafted josh jacobs Mofo ran for three touchdowns. He got 25 rush attempts, 93 yards, three rushing touchdowns, six targets, four receptions, 46 yards. The dude balled out. Jonathan Taylor, he had 11.9 points. He got what I said I thought his floor was going to be. I said about 12 points, 11.9. I'm going to I'm going to round up and I'm and I'm going to say that I got him right in calling the the J train week 1. And Marlon Mack, with looking what appears to be an Achilles injury, makes it makes Jonathan Taylor the J train. I mean, I think he has potential to be a top ten RB moving forward. Joe uh, Hines, uh, Hines? No, because Hines isn't going to get the amount of carries that Jonathan Taylor is going to get. Because okay. they gave Hines the ball on fourth down, and he did not convert. It's the little things like that that they're not gonna do because Taylor could have got a touchdown in that situation because they were they were at like the five. How how firm do you feel on that statement you just said? I wanna I'm I'm still starting him. Yeah, but that's that that's a pretty firm statement. You're saying that because they ran him on fourth down and he didn't get it, that they're gonna go with somebody else. Correct. It's the hot hand approach, brother. Okay. All right. See, that's another thing that's given me hope because um, they had a uh, fourth down. They handed it to Joshua Kelly, my Voldemort. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And Voldemort. Um, hey, there we go. That makes me feel better too. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so, right. Four. Yeah. We're up to four. Uh, you know, I need to get like little paper Voldemorts, you know, so I can have them, you know, <laughs> you know so we can see them, how many they are. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, but Joshua Kelly. They gave they gave him the, the ball, uh, fourth and one, and he didn't make it. So maybe, maybe that means that they're going to run Eckler more. So it might be a temporary situation. I mean, so since, anyway. since Justin Jackson is injured, I don't I don't think that's that's I think the bright spot is it could be two guys instead of three. But uh, but no, but um, you know, I dropped Matt Breida, Gasicki. And I picked up Robbie Anderson, who got 22 points, and Paris Campbell, who got 11. 
Uh, Ruggs got eight points on the bench, so I'm glad I kept him there. Uh, Montgomery got 7.9 points. Glad I kept him there. He had 13 rushing attempts for 64 yards, though, and three targets for a reception and 10 yards. So uh, not bad at all for him in what appeared to be a kind of weird game. Um, you know, I mean, that's that's how the Bears' offense feels. It's always, like, weird. It's never I, I got you. conventional. I got you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little stub uh, because, like, you know, I, I just refreshed, you know, because I'm keeping an eye, man. I'm keeping an eye. I mean, the Malcolm Brown thing is a jump. Okay, and I'm sorry to interrupt your, your your roster, and we'll definitely get back to that. It's, and and let me explain to the people here. The reason why we're doing this, okay, is that we're not trying to prolong talking about you know the games. We are talking about the games. We okay? are. Well, we're we're not saying like, oh, you know, whenever New England played against Dolphins, Cam Newton looked really good. I mean, you know, we're not, we're not doing that. What we're doing is that we're applying it, or we're taking the information that we've gathered from week one. We're applying it to our um, to our to our rosters. And uh, it's just like we're hoping that you guys would do, like trying to show you what, what, what we do and how we digest the information that we get, we get. This is what we're going to be doing whenever we're um, whenever we do our shows that we're going to show you how we digest it. And then any of the extra stuff that are real important, you know, like the uh, uh, like the Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb thing. I mean, that needs to be talked about. <laughs> OK, yeah. you know, like but, but we can if we talk about I mean, uh, I have Kareem Hunt so we could get to that. But uh, the point is, is that we're trying to show you how we digest this and we're looking at it. So um, and whenever uh, at the beginning of the show, I mean, I, I literally was uh, like, if I had not talked to Connor before the show, you wouldn't have gotten. The, all right. All right. All right. You've gotten. All right. You found us. <laughs> you know, and, yeah, I, mean, I was depressed, man. I was so disappointed. You know, but, you know, we talk about it. We focus, you know, that's why, you know, you, you, you talk it out with your bros, man. You know, you, you, you have somebody, a confidant that you can discuss things with. You know, that's why you don't try to play the game as a jerk. You know, like, hey, yeah, you got that, that. Dude, I mean, if, 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 listen to the words I said, game. It's a game. We're all here to have fun. All right. You know, I mean, yeah, we're going to razz each other. I mean, right now, the reason why Doc is not even here, I think he called in. I, I'm suspicious. Connor's flat uh, uh, just went ahead. Connor's beating him. He's going head to head with with Ethan, and then all of a sudden Ethan doesn't want to show up. So you know you put two and two together, all right? But hey, you know, hey, I think we it's trust him. He's allergic to his cat. Uh, oh, well, well <laughs> sounds very convenient. I, I, I know him. He has he has had allergies I, not, for a I'm long not time. He have I'm just saying, dude. You just kind of a little suspicious. All right. It's a benefit of the doubt. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so. You're not giving him that. <laughs> yeah, I am. You're doing the opposite. You're like, gu- no. you're like guilty until innocent. No, I'm definitely giving him the benefit of the doubt. All right, all right, all right, all right. The doubt is that, that you know, uh, you know, I mean, well, what, what do you think the doubt is? Let, let me start there. No, no, no. Um, so let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's talk about these games. Let's talk with, I, oh, I really no, want to get Brown. into that. No, no, no. Oh, Brown. I went up to 26 and a half points. That's why I'm, you're welcome. I'm... <laughs> but, but, but dude, hey, what I want to mention, no, s- seriously, you're welcome. <laughs> what I want to mention is that he's splitting the time, uh, the carries in half with, uh, acres. He has the same amount of carries as acres. So he's not the lead back. He just might be the goal line back. We're not sure. Yeah. But even if, even if like, like he, you can, you know, if maybe you want to trade him, you know, Maybe you the the Cam Akers owner has something that you want, and so you can trade him that for a bench piece. Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. It's see it's it. an it's an asset. It's 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 not just a, a start or a sit. It's an it's an asset. That's the thing that uh, people need to understand about fantasy football. Is you you need to understand different types of assets. No, I'm yeah. being serious. You you have long term assets. You have match. You have matchup proof every week. You know, first round running back. Like like you have assets like Josh Jacobs. Okay, who like I'm I'm never not starting him. Would you say that um, like based on like the fact that you you said the Buffalo Bills defense is pretty good, right? Would you say Crowder is um, is matchup proof? It depends on the degree of their dominance. He got twenty-one points. He got twenty-one points. 
He got 21 points against uh, seven receptions. The Bills. 100, 115 yard. 115 yards and a touchdown. Um, what's weird is like he. There might be games where like they do better, but he's less productive just because of game script. Like he oh. might not need to be depending on him. Like that's the thing that we have to keep in mind. Like okay, but, okay. How about this? It's possible with the information that we've received on week one. It's possible he is. Yeah, it's possible that he's like a really good receiver and he does you good all year. Him. You start him uh, next week. Yeah, because Galladay's out again. I'm assuming, and I think you should uh, assume too. <laughs> well, no. Um, like next week he plays San Francisco. Galladay. No. Crowder. <laughs> Crowder. Yeah, I'd, you start... I'd start him, dude. I'd start him, dude. I watched that game today. The Niners' defense isn't as good as people act Let's like it is. Talk about that. Talk about that. Why do you say that? Talk about the it. Niners, what do you see? Okay, the Niners. You, if you're, if you're faster than them, you can outrun them. Richard Sherman ain't gonna stop you. <laughs> I mean, the the Cardinals carved up the Niners today. They carved them up, and do we not call that Brian? Did we yeah. not call that on this show? We called the Cardinals, boys, week one. They came out slinging it. And Zane Gonzalez wasn't the cancer everybody thought he was, dude. He like, was like, not. Like, like what, like 6,000 people dropped him? 60. You got, dude. Shame from, on you, 60,000 people who dropped him. He dropped like 12% ownership, dude, between Thursday and now. I mean, because everybody just freaked out. Well, okay, to, to, to be fair, let's talk about that. People were worried about California's air condition. Well, first it was the matchup, and then it became the then the wildfire. But nobody else, nobody really came out and said why they were doing anything. Nobody took a stand. And the reason why I say how I reason why I say nobody is because I was so confused because this is a kicker. I was so confused, so like weirded out about what was happening. I did something I said I would never ever do. I said I would never, ever do in my life, and I joined Twitter. I started a Twitter account uh, so that I can go, yes. Yeah, and so. Uh, That's pretty so big, you, guys. Yeah, if you want to message me, I'm at STG Amigo. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to yeah. have to get Brian's Twitter handle after this. Yeah. Because I yeah, changed so, my handle just for fantasy football. I'm the yeah. gut now. Ah, hey, dude, change it to STG, uh, the gut. Yeah. STG. So, yeah, shoot the gut. Yeah. Sh yeah. No. Then well, should be STG, not yeah, STG. Yeah. No, I said T. Oh, well, I heard I said, D. I said Joe Montana. No, Joe <laughs> yeah. Montana. Yeah, no, I uh, S S T G. Uh, yeah, at S T G amigo. Yeah, but I did that, and then I searched around, and all I got was a bunch of people going, "What's going on with Zane Gonzalez?" And everybody's like, "I don't know, but I'm gonna drop him. Why? Because everybody else is. Got to be something going on, you know." So I was it's like, a conspiracy. Yeah, like they know something. Well, dude, I'm at the guy got me like eight points. You know, I mean that's that's pretty good for for a kicker. You know, I mean it did better than my darn defense because we didn't even get to that. Now, did we? Minnesota minus four, minus four, minus four. Holy mackerel! What was that mess that was out there, Minnesota? I mean, Mister, like I mean, you beefed up on defense with what beef? I mean, come on, man. You know, I mean, jeez, dude, that was. Oh, that was so embarrassing. That was so terrible. But I'm not giving up on Minnesota's defense. Two reasons. First of all, there's, pro there's not really much in the pool. Uh, second, <laughs> so that's a part of it. Uh, secondly, uh, and probably more importantly, to be honest with you, is that it takes a while for a defense to gel, man. I mean, this is like preseason. This is the first game these guys have ever been together. You know, uh, it's the first game without their star uh, rusher, you know. So, you know, um, I think that um, – and I also want to see how they bounce back. You know, um, we all fail. You know, uh, it's not about how many times you fall, right, man? It's all about getting up, dude. You know, the whole Chumba Wumba thing. You know, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to get me down, right? Let's Spart see if Minnesota Spartans, is like... Spartans, man. Yeah, Spartans? Yeah, you never never surrender, never never run away. Well, right. Yeah. Well, fight in the shade, you know? <laughs> so, fight you know, in the shade. Well, fight yeah. in the shade. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that's uh, that's Dude, the Vikings. Malcolm Malcolm Brown is still getting you points. I'm watching this drive right now. He's just barreling down. Oh, is he? Is he? Is he? Well, see, I'm okay. Like, and so that's yeah. I I feel good about the risk I'm taking. Hopefully nobody takes uh, t um, Tannehill. You know, by the time I I I get him, I'm not worried because by the time this thing airs, those uh, that thing would clear. 
you know, so I think I might have a shot. So I'm not, I'm not tipping my hand here. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the, the, uh, the defenses, I would not be too worried about defenses unless you see something like really bad, like Miami. When I was watching that Miami game, I'm a dude, they're soft. I mean, like, I, like, I, I, I just said, like, it takes a while for, for defense to gel, but my gosh, dude, there was, there okay. was like, I, I, I have to, we, we have to just get into these games. Cause I really want to talk about them because I have. I have a about my no, but okay. I I, I want to like officially like announce the games that we're either way, sir. Either okay. Way. Okay, thank you. Let me let me pull it up really quickly. Oh, and we also need to make sure and talk. Uh, we're going to talk about Monday night. Monday yeah, we night are. Matchup. Okay, yeah. so ooh, can I can I announce it like I like I did last week? Man, you better. Okay, so we didn't get to talk about this. First off, we have Houston at Kansas City. Now, we uh, we called that game as a shootout, did we not, Bri? Yeah, we did. Do you think that 20 to 34 qualifies? Mm. I mean, that's, that's no. 54 points in a game. I don't, I don't know if it could be counted as a shootout, though. I was expecting at least 30 on each side, you know, 30 to 40. Yeah, yeah so. and I think we have one man to blame for that, and that's Bill O'Brien uh, continuing with the uncreative play calling. No, 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 no. Yeah, we were wrong on Eclair. We were, we were wrong, wrong on Eclair. Eclair was the man, but he was not the goal line back. He was Whoa. stuffed on all <laughs> six attempts. He looked like me if I tried to run on the goal line. You know, just like I mean, as soon as he hit, bam. <laughs> I mean, I've 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 heard takes that he had like a bad line, and that's why yeah. I've I've heard yeah. takes that it's oh you know they have JJ Watt and you know like he shouldn't you know like dude like um you know if 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 you uh with with zone with Andy Reid with like those zone rushing schemes you should you should be able to get a touchdown out of six like within the five like six at six attempts like that's yeah, well, there was some tackles where they tackled them from behind where they just the, the defender literally reached out and grabbed them and pulled them down well that's one of the things about the chiefs is they don't have that big bruiser that they can just wear you down with i mean williams is kind of like that damien but he opted out for the year his whole thing was he's He's not really like he's fast and he's he's kind of big, but he's like he's I I unemployed now. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? But he'll probably have a job next year. Okay, so the the Chiefs won, of course, thirty four to twenty. Uh, I mean, we didn't really have it. I I had I had Kelsey in one league and he got me seventeen points full PPR. I was pretty happy with it. I mean, Mahomes, yeah, not a he distributed the ball around. Uh, Sammy Watkins got a touchdown. Hill got a touchdown. Kelsey got a touchdown. What about the, the Lizard King? The Lizard King. Well, I I, yeah. I I said Watkins. Do you trust Watkins? Do you trust him? Like, do you go out and run I'm out I'm not grab desperate him? enough to need him. Yeah, I need to see. I mean, I, I, I need. this is the thing where I, I need to put my hand in in the thing in the hand you know my finger in, in the hole in the hands first you know but because it just seems like it's a mirage it just he did this last time okay last time he blew up it was amazing it was incredible and then uh then you know, yeah, but last that, year he scored 43 points so if his ceiling is 43 points you could still uh, theoretically but, I'm, I'm just playing devil's advocate you could be, yeah. be chasing that but let's 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 keep it going because we have a lot that we have to get through we're talking about like Kelsey's leg not being a problem. You know whose leg was a problem? George Fairburn. Kittle. Oh, Fairbairn. Fairburn. Yeah, Fairbairn's leg was a problem. Yeah, that Dude, was that terrible. Kid, that was crazy. But okay, we but we, we already know that uh, as, Tex oh, as Texans fans. Um, yeah, Fuller. Man. Fuller. Yeah. I mean, you like Fuller? Yeah. If 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 if, if you had him, you're lucky. Uh, Seahawks and the Falcons. Right. Um. You know, in Atlanta, and uh, oh. it was this this one this one's I'm I'm giving it the shootout because it was thirty eight to twenty five. Okay, I'm I'm giving so, it the shootout. I, we we I called shootout know. on this one. So if it, if it meets fifty, like from like overall points, and it's a shootout in your opinion, it's not just the points; it's the feel of the game because we're not giving it to Houston, even though when you look at the score, I feel like it it kind of 
classifies, but really we they scored points in garbage time to make it look closer than it was. Like it wasn't close. I got you. Do you think that um, it was because of um, of Russell, or do you think it was Atlanta's defense? Uh, I think Russell really is going to be unlimited this year. Yeah. How about, dude, Carson? Holy mackerel, were we wrong on that guy? Yeah. Boy, he he tore it up today. That is my biggest regret because I remembered last year, first week, thinking I was wrong about Carson based on the price. Um, yeah, now, of a, course. You're a fan then. What? A Rashad Penny fan. I was a Rashad Penny fan. Uh, for the longest time, and I still kind of am in my heart of hearts. Just like I, even though I dropped Brita, I still believe in him. I still believe in his talent. I still believe he's the best back f- guy in the backfield there. I just think that that third guy messes everything up because that gives Jordan Howard a reason to stay because now everyone <laughs> has a specific thing. Oh, my God. Jordan Howard. How about Joe that? Ho. How about that? Like, dude, I mean, when I, him and was it? What was that guy's name? Gaskin. Right? Well, let's let's go ahead and move. So we, we, we talked about the Seahawks Atlanta. I mean, ev- everyone did what you thought they were going to do. Lockett did good. DK did good. Uh, Matt Ryan did good. Russell did good. Calvin Ridley and Julio Jones went off. Uh, Hayden Gage. Hurst. Russell Gage did good. Yeah. Uh, Hayden Hurst didn't do good. Uh, so moving on to Miami. Uh, <laughs> Thanks that, for not doing like that. <laughs> you're welcome. That game. Um, um, Eleven to twenty-one. The the Patriots, they they let it be known that they're still better than Miami. Miami, they looked like they're still in the rebuilding process. I don't I don't know if uh, That's right. process yeah, process. I don't know how long Fitzy has. Uh, I asked for Fitz Magic. What I got was Fitz Tragic. He had uh, three picks this game. Gasicki, it's not good. It was not good. I think he got like five points. Uh, is, is it him not good or the fact of like um, just the situation or Patrick or what? He did not do anything uh, of note and the situation is just the worst possible it could be. So that's why I, div- di- I divested from that team. Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I, I noticed their defense was just real soft. Whenever I was watching, I'm at, New England was able to do anything they wanted against yeah, them. Yeah, I, I think Miami's still a good play uh, if you're streaming. Uh, the Jets and the Bills, we we called this game to be a close one. Grab any offense that's playing against the, def- uh, the Miami defense, is that what you mean? When you said that they're got a good option? If you're that streaming, desperate. What? Yeah, if you're, if you're that desperate, what I'm saying is Miami was – that's what they were last year. Miami might still be that. And they're exploitable. When yeah, you said they're stream- exploitable. So, they're, 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 so- they're streamable against – there you go against there's the word thank you you, you sir. Can stream against them uh there we go. speaking of people to stream against uh the bills are not one you want to do the bills came in and they they trashed the new york jets it was in bills mafia territory and uh the bills Watch mafia let it be known they're still gunning for the division they scored more points than the patriots uh, Josh Allen, uh, for Josh Allen owners that are happy out there, they're happy because he got 28 points. What they hope not everyone realizes is he had two fumbles lost. It's still the same sloppy Josh Allen. He, from what I read, missed out on like two additional touchdowns because of poor throwing. So he's, I'm, I'm glad I chose Kyler Murray in the sixth instead of Josh Allen because Josh Allen scored like a point more than Murray but Murray didn't make the errors that Josh Allen made. And that would make me more frustrated. Well, honestly. now, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a Stefan Diggs owner, as everybody knows, because we went over um, everything there, but you know, that John Brown, you know, he got 16 points, you know, so he got six receptions for 70 yards and a touchdown. All right. So that does show that Josh Allen is throwing it out. I, I, I think and see that's that's another reason why like i'm i'm not freaking out too much because i'm thinking that um he he and stefan diggs just haven't you know got on the same page yet and as soon as they do um as as soon as as soon as they do get on the same page then uh, i think that stefan diggs is really going to be something or at least it's possible there, there's there's proof there that he uh, was 12 points to diggs 16 points to brown so maybe it was game script Maybe it's it was gelling, so maybe Diggs will take off because of that. But I, I you know, Allen, I don't think he did as bad as as I think, you know. Um, so 
uh, or as people say, say they are. I'm just, yeah. But I'm also trying to be hopeful because of I'm I'm a uh, I, I am a uh, a digs owner. Yeah, I, I would be worried if I was a Bell owner because he's questionable. He only, he only got five points. And... Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah, um, how about that, dude? Yeah, that was like. A, Fifth round pick or something like that. Fourth, you know. I fourth mean, round, yeah, like. that's the still an investment, you know. And Crowder, um, it's a lone bright spot for the Jets, you know. If I think Darnold's a guy you can stream off of waivers, I don't think he's that Dude, big Hearn, a deal. Hearn, Hearn did, uh, took a dump too. He was like four points. Yeah, I've never been high on him. Um, but yeah, he was supposed to be. I mean, like all these targets, and you know, he's gonna be breaking out. No, I mean, he was a guy. That nah, was, nah, yeah, man. I mean, I, the Jets I, I, don't. The Jets' offense isn't big enough to produce that. They're, they're yeah. not big enough to produce running back, wide receivers, and the tight end for fantasy. I understand. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Like that's, okay. it's, it's like, you know how some bikes, like, they, they don't have a, a, a gear that big enough? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what we're talking about. Yeah, you're asking, you're asking for the gears that the Chiefs and Ravens have. Mm-hmm. And what it looks like to be the... Uh, Packers. Yeah, the Packers. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna skip the. Terry, what's your thoughts on Singletary? I'm uh, I'm I'm a Moss truther, and that's the that's the train that I'm gonna stay on. We chose to start Zach Moss unanimously in our league today, and it worked out. We had some real hits. We had uh, Kyler Murray as quarterback, right? No, we had uh, Tom Brady as quarterback. Yeah, I, I did. So it, we got it, it, 22 it, points from him. Yeah, no. We started DJX instead of Moss. We started DJX. No, I thought we started Moss. No, I voted no. to start Moss. No, oh, no dude, I we started, all uh, we all agreed on it. We all agreed on it. At least we I'm all in, agreed. I'm, I'm I'm in the boat with you. Yeah, dude, we all agreed on Screw Deshaun Jackson. You, Deshaun Jackson. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're we're trying that's to pick up get, the. That's what you get for quoting Hitler, you asshole. <laughs> Well, you know, dude, like I said, the stinky cheek, you know, but, but on our, if, um, just, just, just real, real quick, man, not, not to, not to defer away what we're doing. Um, but yeah, on our league, uh, we're down right now, 118 to 110. Um, but, uh, we have Derek Henry to go and our opponent has Noah font. So we're eight points away and we're, you know, we're about to unleash the, the, the crack in there. I hope yeah, that so, Noah fan scores a lot of points, but Derrick Henry just scores enough for us to win, because I own <laughs> Noah Fant in my other league. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I I do too, man. Look at my hat, you know. So, uh, you know, that's that's what I'm hoping for. Wow, dude. So the Rams are actually going to win this game. Yeah, the Rams won, uh, seventeen to twenty. So we called this game. It's a, a shootout. It was not. Uh, Zeke caught a couple of touchdowns. The Cowboys' mm-hmm. d- offense did not look. Uh, stop top five at all. I feel sorry for people who invested in them. Uh, I don't know. The Rams are a tough matchup, so maybe they have brighter days ahead of them. The Rams, Woods, I'm so thankful that's the piece of the offense I got because uh, he, he uh, you know, he was the man. He got me like 17 points and half PPR yeah. and 19 points in full. Um. Yeah, what was really weird though is that um, let me just update this. Yeah, like whenever whenever we first started like like filming, you know, from from the actually before then, uh, he had fourteen point nine points and he ended with four fourteen point nine points. So I'm thinking what happened is that they started trying focusing on uh, running the ball because that's mm-hmm. you know all of a sudden Brown became a thing. So. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if Brown becomes a thing. Yeah, he got we'll me see. 17 points in the in the full PPR. Yeah. 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 We'll see. We'll see. Um, then we'll know. So that, that was that game. Uh, circling back, we skipped over the Bears in Detroit. That was a weird oh, game. Are we talking about the Rams? Are we done with the Rams and the Cowboys? Yeah, I mean, uh, there wasn't – there... Zerline. Zerline missed a couple field goals. If you have him, I feel bad for you. Yeah, man, Greg yeah. the leg, dude. Greg the leg. When it goes, man, it goes. Wow. He's old. Uh, drop him. Pick someone else up. I don't know what to tell you, man. I have Sly. Because I'm sure he's available. Pick up Zane league. Gonzalez if he's on your waiver, <laughs> man. Do it. Yeah, that was a bonehead move. What? What was that? My gosh, dude. A bonehead like move. Like an ex yourself. Ex girlfriend of Zane Gonzalez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You heard it, yeah. fellas. 
Don't go back to that X. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had Or maybe uh, ladies, don't go back to that dude. Now that the game's over, Derrick Henry will have to score forty points, four zero points for me to uh to win this game. That's in his ceiling. That's that's not his ceiling even. He scored I imagine, dude, I mean Darrington Evans isn't there, you know, and the coach um was wearing uh Vrabel was wearing a mask. That was black, and it said right here on the side. It said, "You know, give uh, give him yeah, the yeah, ball. give Derek Henry the ball." Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah, energy so. that they're putting out is I I love it. Um, I'm so happy that our our team we have together. We get to have Derek Henry. Uh, I think something special is gonna happen. I yeah. I yeah. I, I, I think something special is gonna happen tomorrow. Dude, I I you know what? Um, my hope is that it does. I need it to. And uh, it's my prayer <laughs> tonight that it does. You know, the Lord has mercy on me. You know, and, and it helps me out here. We'll see. We'll see what so he says. For for time's sake, um, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna breeze through a couple of these matchups, yeah. and then yeah. we're gonna talk about Monday's game because the, we're talking the about the Titans game, which is Monday's game. So the okay, charge. the Bears and the Lions played. Uh, Adrian Peterson ran for about ninety yards. Kenny G didn't play. I mean, you know, it was it was kind of a weird day. Uh, Allen Robinson got some points for fantasy. Mitch Trubisky threw like three touchdowns. So he actually had a good day, which was weird. Like I said, a weird day. Any anytime the Mitch Trubisky plays well, it feels odd to me. It feels like we're not in reality. <laughs> uh, Anthony Miller got a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, that that was that was pretty cool. Um, I see here the, uh, the for people who had the Bears D, including me, I feel bad. Uh, I don't know why anyone would have the Lions D, but if you did, I guess you feel even worse. And uh, you know, <laughs> Swift, D Swift, man, DeAndre Swift, he I had three, him. three for eight yards. Uh, you know, touchdown. Yeah, uh, I've, I mean, I've I've been honest with uh, the amigo. I've told him to drop him, but he wants to wait a week, so you know. Well, he's a rookie, dude. Here's my here's here's my plight, okay? Is that and this is what I'm talking to all the DeAndre Swift owners out there, if there are any that I'm speaking to right now or listening, I should say. All right, so uh, DeAndre Swift, you got to remember that he produced was it nine points, right? Nine point eight points, which still is uh, I I think it might have been better than yeah, it's better than Eckler, <laughs> okay? Yeah, still did yeah. better. Than all right, but the thing is, is that he didn't practice like uh, uh like half the week. He's a rookie. All right. And so it's my feeling that they didn't put him out there because they were trying to uh, make sure his leg was OK because they wanted to use him on passing downs. And that's what they did. He was the pass catching. He's almost like the Kareem Hunt of, of this of, of the Detroit backfield. And with a little bit of carry on Johnson peppered in as long as carry Johnson carry on Johnson lasts, you know, and I don't think carry on Johnson had a good game either as far as like point uh, fantasy points go. You know, so um it's my feeling that, you know, again, this is game, the week one, long season. All right. It's a long play. And uh, whenever I picked DeAndre Swift and um, and Ethan and Connor were giving me a little bit of mess about it, I told him it's a long play. All right. And so I, I got it. I got to treat it that way. And so I can't give up on it just yet. You know, I don't or I don't want to give. I can I can give up on it. <laughs> yeah. But I just don't want to. So that's my that's my plea as far as holding on to him because you don't want to be that guy that drafted somebody and then uh, like as soon as you drop them then that week that you drop them they get like 21 points right connor yeah exactly uh crowder <laughs> so uh moving on the packers and minnesota that game was a shootout 43 to 34 who would have thought if you had Adam Thielen or Dalvin Cook and you started them, you were happy because they went off. If you started Devontae Adams, you were even happier. The guy scored over 40 points in our league. The dude went off. It's clear that Rodgers still has a favorite in Green Bay, and he is going to use him. Uh, Lazard also kind of got involved. Oh, M MVS caught a touchdown. You know, So it's clear that uh, Rodgers wants to sling it. Uh, I think the Packers have found more of a groove between Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers. It seems like instead of running the ball down the team's throat, they're going to do some more creative. They're going to do some pitches. They're going to do some little 
little two yard passes forward, get their guy in space, help make a move. Little things like that that can keep the offense on their toes and really utilize using those three wide receiver sets. And you still don't know if they're going to run with, you know, what I just described or if they're going to throw it, which I really like to see because I didn't like the direction that the Packers offense took last year. It seemed odd not to utilize the three wide receiver set scheme with an Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, everything seems kind of odd with Green Bay. You know, um, like you were mentioning, like, oh, like we, we started this whole thing off with, well, these are the things that I got wrong, right? Um, and I mean, I, I truly feel that this first week, nobody got anything right. Okay, you either got it wrong, you know, your guess was wrong, or you got lucky. I, I got some things right. I said Kyler okay. Murray was going to be good, and he was. Oh, I started him in the but, face but, of the okay. Niners, D. Again, but you got lucky because it worked out. You know, I mean, so it, it could have no, gone south. No, because technically I would have been more lucky if I started Aaron Rodgers opposed to him. I was, was it, right that Murray did good. My, my point is, is like DJX was somebody that was supposed to go off. Diggs was somebody who was supposed to go off. Right. And so these are same calls that you would have, that we were making. All right. But, you know, we got them wrong. Okay. Yeah. But, but then, yeah, but Diggs got, Diggs got 12, he got 12.6 points, man. That's, that's the thing. It's like, it's not like these guys laid eggs. Okay. Cause no, there's guys that we aren't talking about. Let's, let's talk about some matchups that some people are mad about. Go uh, ahead. Go for it. Tampa Bay at new Orleans. And do you know who sucked for fantasy and who I have been saying was not going to be as good as he was last year. I was right about it. Michael Who's Thomas, that? three points, and he's listed as questionable right now, people. If Michael Thomas is in your in your league, someone has him, make a trade offer at that person. This is when <laughs> you get people to tilt. Ah, uh-huh. yeah, when they're freaking out a little when they're bit. They're freaking huh? out a little bit. He sees uh-huh. Jared Cook's caught a touchdown. Emmanuel Sanders caught a touchdown. Kamara with his two touchdowns and almost a third. I'm partial to Kamara, so even though I know he was out of bounds, I think they should have given it to him. <laughs> uh, see, I, I, you know, that's weird because on our league team, uh, we have uh, Minnesota defense. You should be, you know, or or no, we no, excuse me, that's Tampa Bay. Uh, we have. Um, oh, never mind. I I, I was uh, th- I was uh, got got my wife. That's crossed. my Please love continue. for my love for Kamara transcends the issue. <laughs> uh, moving on, we had we have a couple other games. Baltimore blew out Cleveland six to thirty eight. Uh, Mark Andrews caught a t- couple touchdowns. Marquise Brown went off. Lamar Jackson did Lamar Jackson things, and Baker Mayfield did Baker Mayfield things. And Dobby. Kareem Hunt. Dobby. Okay, you cannot say that because he scored a touchdown and he did better Dobby. than Mark Ingram. I'm still calling him Dobby. <laughs> One of these days, that's 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 gonna come back to get you, and you're not gonna like it. <laughs> you're not gonna eh. like how it gets you. People um, love Dobby. I don't, but people do. Nah, man. Um, moving on, uh, <laughs> the Jaguars beat the Colts twenty-seven to twenty. Oh, that was you know, man. There was some. Um, do you, I heard Minshew. everywhere. Well, hey, I've heard everywhere that Indianapolis Colts defense was going to be just a stud defense. I was that mad was because someone else took that defense out from under me and started them. And then I started. I ended up laughing because the Saints did way better than the Colts did, mm-hmm. and I yeah. only got to experience that because I had no better option at defense because the Colts got taken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So thank well, you. <laughs> yeah, that that was a uh, yeah. And that person, that specific person, uh, started them over Pittsburgh. So that's interesting. And they kept Zerline, and they for some reason they had two kickers, so they dropped Gould to pick up uh, Colts. And, and use Zerline, so they're kind of in a weird spot right now. Um, they could listen to my to this podcast and maybe get an upper and maybe feel better. Yeah, they need mm-hmm. a friend like you, Connor. You know, so um, but yeah, that was that was surprising. Um, Minshew picking up being the uh, Jaguar king. You know, um, you know, we were talking about like waiver wires. You know, Malcolm Brown was a He's waiver there, wire people. suggestion Minshew's that we're there. talking about. Um, there's also Lavisca Chenault. Uh, it's another guy to uh, to keep an eye out on. He's the uh, wide receiver too for uh, for the Jags. Um, it's a freakish guy. Uh, they use him in running. They use him a lot of different ways. So he might be a guy that you might be able to keep an eye on. Yeah, keep, he didn't, keep an eye out. Uh, yeah, he's about twelve. He did about twelve points in our league, so he wasn't like you know burning down 
you know the the, the you know the the building or whatever. That's, that's something you know, to but, monitor, guys. In twelve in twelve man leagues, you don't know how desperate you are. Yeah, it's definitely a twelve man league play. Um, yeah, not not ten man, twelve man. Depends how desperate you are, <laughs> but you know, but it could it could be something. Just keep an eye out on it. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep an eye uh, out. But, but but I think he's a waiver wire pickup. I think he is. Um, that I think that's a good thing there. Um, speaking of uh, hot waiver wire pickup on the Jaguars, Robinson, what's your thoughts, dude? No, uh, we've already we we were out on Fournette, dude. I'm not in on Fournette's replacement. Uh, this is <laughs> an offense that I'm into for passing reasons and passing mm-hmm. reasons only. Yeah, I don't think even Chris Thompson did well. Exactly. Yeah, and, and that was the guy that was supposed to be the big cheese over there. And um, I think if if uh, I'm just going off memory here, because um, I just perused it real quick, but I think he got like nine point six points in our league. Uh, yeah, Robinson. Did. Yeah, he he did. And speaking of people, because I because I I, I, I want to keep this running. Speaking of people who are supposed to be the big cheese who got nine points, the uh, the Chargers and the Bengals man, uh, Eckler, um, you know, he. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's 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 too fluid not to. Eckler, man, uh, he had a lot of carries. He had a lot of opportunities. Is the Bengals – did you watch that game? No, I couldn't. I didn't have the capacity to. I watched some of it, and I, can't, I, I couldn't discern if it was just week one because, you know, the Bengals and the Chargers, neither of them looked good. This was mm-hmm. not a good game for either of them. It was 16-13, to 13, and the Bengals had a real shot at winning the game. I got to see them – uh, the last play, uh, Joe Burrow. Look, man, I'm going to say I know he didn't score a lot of points, but he had a lot of poise in the pocket, and he, he held his composure until the very end of the game. And, uh, you know, I I, I, res- I respect him for that as a rookie in his first game in, just being thrown in there. Uh, did he run in a touchdown or something like that? He did, like yeah. a man, like a 25-yard <laughs> run for a touchdown. It wasn't just yeah. some little scamper. Yeah. Uh, the Br- Brady scamper, <laughs> you know, Eckler, he, he might have brighter days, man. I would start him with the draft capital that you invested in him because I'm in man. the same, I'm in the same boat. Cause I have Joe Mixon and I'm starting Joe mm-hmm. Mixon again. I'm not, mm-hmm. I'm not throwing away months of rhetoric, you know, praising Joe because mm-hmm. of one week. I'm just yeah. not doing it. Now, um, one thing is that a um, important note from that game, um, I believe uh, DJ Reader, the, um, the their uh, Cincinnati defensive tackle, uh, went out with an injury. So, they so got keep an eye out. for that, people. Yeah, and I'm thinking that's maybe the reason why they did Joshua Kelly was because they had a gap in the middle because DJ Reader was out. And that's why they ran uh, Joshua Kelly. That's what I think is Eckler's not the between the tackles guy. Speaking of between the tackles, uh, last but not least, uh, the games that happened today, we had Arizona at San Francisco. <laughs> and like we said, we called it, you know, they did good. Drake got a touchdown. Chase Edmonds got a touchdown. D Hop went off. Kylo Murray clean, went off. Clean air. Air. That, that, that clean they enough had, air. They had clean enough air for the air raid system. Gonzalez did, did better than dropping them. 60,000 people were talking to you. So moving on to <laughs> tomorrow's games. And yeah, Jimmy, Jim, uh, Jimmy G did decent. If you started the Niners defense, I feel oh, bad Oh, dude, for how you. about that, that scare from Kittle? Like going out for a leg. He's thing. cut from a different cloth, man. Yeah, like you said, dude. I mean, you're right. I think you're 100% right on that. Because when I, whenever I read that, that, that Adam Schefter uh, tweet, you know, I was like, oh, my gosh. You know, and I even uh, I picked up Troy funny. Reed. I know you did. I know ah. you did. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, cause, I mean that's that was funny watching. I saw you, your like... text, and then I was my knee jerk response to your text was picking him up because I remembered I traded Jordan Reed two years ago, and I got Dalvin Cook, and so oh, I was like, a... eh, there, there might be something there, you know? Yeah, yeah. right, right. Uh, but uh, but no, uh, that was short lived. Because uh, like the like the like the next level human that he is, uh, he just kind of went in the back, did something where nobody else should see, and came back. So you can he, he take... took his horse tranquilizer and he's he's good. All right, but uh, they lost, so boo hoo. So, uh, I think I think Mr. Miyagi was back there. He's like, close eye. So <laughs> I think that's what happened. <laughs> we have a double header. Tomorrow night, Mr. Miyagi may be there, may not. We have uh, <laughs> s- 
We have the Steelers at the Giants and the Titans at the Broncos. And uh, that was good. Uh, which which game which game do you think is going to be higher scoring, man? I I, I tend to lean Steelers Giants. Yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's where you feel. I that, see. That looks like the the offensive matchup. I'm thinking the uh, oh because you're you're. Th- Woo! Yeah, because I I don't I don't see the Giants scoring that that much against that Steelers. But team. I see them I see them having to throw the ball a lot. I yeah, see I, I see the Steelers having their way with the Giants offense. You see, okay I, uh, okay the Steelers okay okay. I, it's so I don't I don't think it's gonna be close. It might be like twenty eight to fourteen. But if you're down like twenty eight to seven with like, you know, a quarter left to play, like you're gonna have to like you know, or maybe like three quarters left two two quarters left to play like i i don't know the steelers they have been sporadic in nature and scoring in the past like big ben will he'll he'll put up two or three touchdowns like in a sequence and then they'll just hold you see i think that the higher scoring game is going to be the broncos and the titans okay and the reason why okay is because the broncos defense is discombobulated right now because right? no von miller that's so the, correct the titans are going to also... run they're, they're going to run through yeah, they also had another injury to the uh, to the defense too, man. So, so they're kind of they're kind of weaker there. And De- Derrick Henry, I mean, dude, he's like like we like you were talking about Kittle, you know, being another level. We believe that's that's Derrick Henry too. Um, and the one threat that he had to uh, take any type of snaps away from him was Darrington Evans, mm-hmm. and Darrington Evans is hurt and it's not going to be there. Okay, so it's the Derrick Henry show. Mm-hmm. All right. And this guy is, I mean, he's been training. He's been um, all of the off season. He already said he's been working on pass catching. Uh, you already know my love for Ryan Tannehill. AJ Brown, I think is going to go off. I think John U. Smith is going to do well, especially since the linebacking core is kind of weakened. And that's exactly where the tight ends attack, you know? So, and then on the other side of the ball, you know, I mean, like, you know, look, look at my hat. Okay. I'm a Broncos fan. Okay, I love the you Broncos. Are. I I really do. All right, but I'm also I mean I'm talking about fantasy, and in fantasy football you kind of have to put your love aside. You know, yeah. I mean, you got to think straight. You know, which love doesn't always let you do. Uh, so, um, but like Melvin Gordon, how is that going to work with Melvin Gordon? You know, Phil Lindsay, how is that all going to work out? No cut, no, uh, Cortland Sutton, or at least an abbreviated Cortland Sutton. You got a rookie and Judy. He's going to have to probably take take the uh, lead role, which we were um, so um, concerned about it. We actually went and got uh, when Galladay was out on our our league. We put Galladay in IR and we picked up Jerry Judy because uh, for some reason he was in the pool. And um, Noah Font, I think Noah Font's going to be some guy like I was down on him before. I think he's he he might be able to come out, but I don't know if he's got if. Locke is going to be able to handle Titans defense with Jadavion Clowney. They were already stout as it is, but now they add Clowney, who's now mad and wants something to prove. I mean, you know, it, it has the feel of Tennessee Titans just, <laughs> you know, spanking it, you know? That's what it, the feel is, you know? I mean, I love the Broncos. I know it's in Bronco land. There's not going to be fans, but still, it's in there, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so I just think that's going to be a high scoring game, in my opinion. And it's going to be uh, Tennessee Titans, and I think that that uh, collectively, because I don't think Denver is going to be, uh, you know, a pushover. I think they're going to probably get at least a couple of scores, right? Um, but you know, kind of keep it interesting a little bit. But I think Titans really are going are going to going to do uh, uh, like like the Packers did to the Vikings type of thing. You know, um, that that's my feeling. Um, of course, part of it is because I need it to happen because I need 40 points from Derrick Henry, which is almost unprecedented in, in our league. But it's possible, though. We'll see what it is. I mean, dude, hey, the Lord made water come out of stones. Okay, he can get 40 points out of Derrick Henry if it's his will. This is very <laughs> true. Me. Okay, all right. So, um, but but Saquon, man, I think Saquon's going to gonna have a good day. Um I'm really interested. I was reading a lot more that he was going to be involved in the passing game. Uh, We're going to see it. We're going to see how it works out. You know, with this beefed up Pittsburgh Steelers defense, man. Um, I don't know how Daniel Jones is going to handle that. You know, and they're at they're in New 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 York. Is that right, Uh, Connor? Next week. Yeah. Or no, tomorrow. Tomorrow they are. Or today, if you're watching. In New York. 
Yeah. In New York. Right. In New York. So, um, so yeah, so it's the, the fam friendly confines, so to speak, or at least the, uh, the, the music and the, and the crowd, the pumped in crowd noise will be, uh, pro giants. Uh, so, uh, I, I don't know how that's going to happen. Um, you know, and Golden Tate is hurt, so he has somebody that he was always uh, depending on. So you're looking at Darius Slayton and um, Shepard. And, and Ing is Ingram? I think Ingram's playing, right? I think I read that right. Ingram's in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's Ingram, uh, Slayton, uh, Barkley, and uh, Shepard going against the, St the Steelers' defense. Uh, and you also have the fact that um, – their cornerstone left guard, Nate Soldier, uh, Solder, excuse me, uh, opted out, you know, of COVID, you know, so they're weak there, you know, so they're not even the strong line that they were last year. And this is the line that would, that got Barkley injured, <laughs> you know, so yeah, yeah. So I, I, that's why I'm like, eh. I think that I think the Titans and the uh, Broncos game is going to be a little, a little bit higher scored. So there you have it, folks. Uh, we're going to see, and then we'll know, and that's the beautiful thing about fantasy. Top five waiver wire pickups. Well, I was actually just putting some waiver wire uh, claims in in my Bo Jackson League. Uh, the guys I'm trying to get right now uh, are Gardner Minshew, per, uh, Paris Campbell from okay. Indianapolis, uh, okay. Hines, and I want to say... Who else is it? Because I don't. Th this is the thing when you have multiple leagues, you start f f mixing everything up. Paris Campbell. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, Crowder. So my number one is Crowder for Gibson. Number two is Hines for Gibson. Then Minshew for Fitzpatrick, and then Campbell for Madison. How did Gibson do, by the way? He did bad. Like how bad? Like like what was his? What was this like? He had six points, nine rushing attempts for thirty six oh yards and God. two tar two targets. All that hype. All that hype. Wah, wah. We need we need a uh, one of those uh, was it a trombone. Wah, wah. <laughs> you know, yeah, but yeah, that was that was a lot of hype. Same thing with with the with the um, with the Richardson thing. You know, that was a lot of hype too. You know, so you got to be careful. Um, you got to look at the offense. You know, just because you get, you know, the 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 the, the shiny, you know, the prettiest pig, you know. At, at, at the dance, you know, it's still a pig, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> you know, so, you know, so keep that in mind, you know, um, Connor, um, before we started this podcast back last year, he told me, and that's what made it so weird about dolphins is that he said, I don't like investing in bad offenses. And of course, right after he told me that he drafted, uh, Le'Veon Bell. And then after Le'Veon Bell pootered out on him last year, he said, I should not have invested in a bad offense. So, so, but to his credit, that was a third round pick or second round pick. This one is, uh, was like nine, 10. That's when you take your shots. You know, yeah. So. Yeah. I think the worst, the worst pick, if, if you want to go there, would be Joe Mixon because that was a yeah. first round pick. Yeah. You're pretty upset about that. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on it because it's definitely not ideal because he had 19 rush attempts for 69 yards and the charges weren't necessarily known for stopping people on the run last year. It was actually quite the opposite. That was the one way you could stop them was by running. So, I mean, you know, there's, there's so many questions. There's the, you know, was it because it was Joe Burrow's first game getting everyone included was the offensive line. And what, what have he done in two to, years? He hadn't fumbled, and he fu and he fumbled a day. So mm -hmm. you know, there's there's just that it's it's probably a worst case first situation. Game. First game. First game. First, first game. game. Fumbles. Yeah, I would definitely tell you to wait. Yeah, I mean, I, and I think you didn't you pass on Eclair for Mixon? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, Clyde, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Yeah, we call me Claire. Yeah, um, so that might sting a little bit. Like I remember when I was watching the game on Thursday, the uh, the only thing I, that that made me like not get upset was like I didn't have I didn't really have a chance at E. Claire because you go Derrick Henry. I mean, I had third pit, third pick of the you know draft. I mean, you go Derrick Henry. You know, at least that in my mind. We'll see if tomorrow if I'm correct. I mean, but. You know, the thing is, like, I had options. I, I could have gone Mixon. I could have gone Drake. I could have gone uh, Chubb. And it's like, I felt better about... And what made me mad, too, was they had Giovanni... 
freaking Bernard in for like no reason at the end of the game. It's like, what the hell do you have him there for? He's not gonna. Uh, he's not well, the say, answer. Saving Crowder. Yeah, yeah. But actually, the game was on the line. They lost by a uh, a field goal, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, I was hoping they were going to make that field goal because then they would go into overtime and hopefully Eckler would get more points. <laughs> That's the way I looked at that, dude. Yeah, so, um, so yeah, when they missed that field goal, they they they, they crushed more than just their own uh, their 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 own uh, season record. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, so okay, so you said uh, your top your top waiver wire pickups that you're focusing on, uh, Minshew, Hines. Crowder, if he's there. Crowder, okay. if he's there. Yeah, yeah. Crowder, if he's there. Okay, but but that don't know if he's there. Yeah, that that was that was odd for that to be there. But I was he was there in our league and he's there in your league, so safe to say he might be there. Okay, Crowder. Okay, um, Malcolm Brown, right? Yeah. Pick up Malcolm Brown. Okay. Um, and but stay away from Sammy Watkins. Uh, you talked about Lazard picking up Lazard. Would you pick him up? Mm-hmm. MVS. Would you pick up MVS? Yes. Okay, so you're saying you're saying that look at Green Bay Packers like they were like two years ago, and you know like you try to get any piece of that offense that you could. Yes, I All feel right. really nervous. I, I could I could be wrong about this, but I'm saying it. And, well, yeah, uh, no, dude. I saw I saw the pause. I saw Josh the pause. Josh Jacobs, uh, Josh Jacobs. You can't pick up Josh Jacobs. <laughs> I'm, just, a waiver wire. I'm just glad that I have Josh Jacobs. Yeah. Well, and oh, he geez. got three, not one, not two, three rushing touchdowns. Uh, what about um, Edwards or Ruggs? Brian Edwards or Henry Ruggs? Brian Edwards didn't do anything, but uh, mm-hmm. Ruggs did good ish. So I would, I would uh, keep him. You oh no no waiver wire pickup yeah okay. I have so him what, on my team so I would pick him up if okay he was available. okay pick up rugs but not Edwards nope not Edwards what what about Waller how do you feel about Waller I mean I know that's not a waiver wire but how do you feel about about him is it, were we right from our our we're assessment? right man I think we were right yeah that he was not he's yeah. not going to be because there's too many mouths to feed I mean even Aguilar got a touchdown you know so I was uh, I was listening to someone talk about how they they think that. Uh, Gruden is freaking chasing the ghost of Brett Favre, so he's always going to be unhappy with whatever quarterback he has because of that. Kind of, kind of interesting, but it, it just makes you think that in that system he would be wanting to use the wide receivers, not the tight ends. Mm. Yeah. Well, point is, is that uh, Waller doesn't look like he's he's uh, doing too well uh, this this time around. Uh, but um, you know, hopefully that um, when we went through our our list of uh, teams. Oh, let me talk about this real quick. Uh, Kareem Hunt had the same amount of uh, touches as Nick Chubb. If you're a Nick Chubb owner, are you worried? Yeah. Okay, you're 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 worried. Like you're like sell. Would you sell him? Yeah. Yeah. You get rid of him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And if you're Zach, Kareem Hunt, trade Nick Chubb to me. <laughs> and uh, Kareem Hunt. Mm. How, how, what's your thoughts on Kareem Hunt? Brian, I think you should give me Kareem Hunt since I, I gave you Malcolm Brown and Crowder, you know, just, just, just like drop them, just pick up a defense or something. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you you yeah. gave, you, you gave suggestions, uh, but uh, the Malcolm Brown thing. Yeah. I, I understand that. Um, I'm, I'm Crowder joking, was, buddy. I would be yeah, glad if I had Hunt. Crowder was in the pool for, days before i picked him up be- why days. because why because of uh, Pat- uh matt patricia i'm uh bill belichick and i'm gonna put doubtful on a guy that had to pull hammy hasn't practiced in two days i'm mean, come on man put him out so other people can put make plans and do and put him in ir and do stuff that's like, okay it worked out like worked so out. i'm i'm making this as an, a reason not to not to own uh lions running backs that's 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 my that's my closing sentiment that i want to leave is uh, don't invest in running backs from the Dolphins, uh, Lions, Patriots, Bears. Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm holding on David Montgomery. Uh-huh. See, holding. that's the way you feel about Montgomery is how I feel about Swift. All right, I, and the way I argue the way that, that you... David Montgomery is a situation above Swift. Okay, no, 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 no. 
Tariq Cohen and freaking Patterson are not the amount of competition to David Montgomery that Adrian Peterson and Kerryon Johnson are to DeAndre Swift. You want to know the great equalizer is? I don't think that Matt Nagy is the great equalizer because Matt Patricia isn't that good of a coach either. He's not. Okay. Okay. What what has he done in Detroit? Well, um, I when Galladay was was healthy, I mean, he Galladay was able to produce with somebody named David Blatt. <laughs> okay, I mean, in yeah, his Galladay name. was Galladay was good. Marvin Jones and Galladay are good receivers. If they, if well, they Marvin threw Jones the ball. Didn't have a good. Yeah, Marvin Jones didn't have a good day. Uh, but um, but it was also against the Bears. It was yeah. that's a that's a strong defense. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's my feeling, it's my opinion, my opinion only that Matt Patricia is a better coach than Matt Nagy, mainly because he doesn't overthink things and thinks he's the smartest guy in the room like Matt Nagy is, you know. So, so I think that Matt Nagy, and I don't think Matt Patricia would play a uh, baby giraffe as a running running back like Matt Nagy. Is. I think yeah, that so. Matt Patricia, I. I... I, I disagree because I think that coaches that work for Bill Belichick and then go off think that because circa Bill O'Brien, Matt Matt Nagy is the way he is because he worked with Andy Reid and he he held holds Andy Reid as like a god, like that's 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 how he views him, and I think Bill Belichick Bill Belichick and Matt Patricia. You know, Matt, Matt Patricia, I'll, I'll agree. He's a grade above. He's not an F. He's 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 a D. Okay. He's not an you know, F, but he's still know, a I D. Was, okay. <laughs> yeah, he is a D. He's yeah, a D. Uh, yeah, he's a big D. Uh, the um, not in a good way. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at like um, how many points did Montgomery have uh, this week? Like nine. Okay, and like um. And Terry Cohen had 5.6, and uh, Cordell Patterson had 3.6 in our league. Okay, so yes, I'm if, wondering. Yes, if you take the sum of their numbers and you give it all to Montgomery, he has a good score. Right, but or, or, yeah. um, but um, I'm not sure if uh, if that line is is a good running line. You know, yeah, I don't know line. if it's a good running line moving forward because they were they, they might have been easing him back in. You know, uh, we yeah, don't but, know. But this is the the Detroit Lions defense. You know they're not really known for their defense. You know, and so I mean, look what happened. They 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 lost the game. You know, so it just kind of just like you were saying earlier that Detroit, yeah, but it was close. Like, it was twenty three to twenty seven. That's twenty seven. Uh, it's twenty twenty seven points, man. That's a lot of points. <clears throat> One thing we have to bear in mind is that this Bears team, uh, they they they. They might get a shutout or two, man. So those those low scoring games, those are those games where you want to have David Montgomery. I don't know, man. I think you might be lying. All right, dude. So well, let's I, wrap it up then, folks. Yeah. But Brian, so, parting shots. Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I, this plane's still in the air, man. We can't just drop down into it. All right. Uh, so if you guys have been watching and you enjoy it, you know, please hit that like button. All right, that like and, oh, and yeah, subscribe we button. Even asked that yeah, yet. we should have yeah, been in the beginning. And of the, the only, episode. the only bell that we really like on this show is the one that says, you know, <laughs> that, that's that's right there. That'll be the like button. So please hit the bell, like, subscribe. You know, you'll we'll feel the love, and you'll get every one of our episodes. You know, I mean, this is what we do. Okay, we don't try to approach it like another, um, like any other. Uh, uh, football fantasy show, show that you see. We try to grab the information, apply it, so you can see how it is. You saw at the beginning how I was really down because of the the, the uh, of how my week is going. Connor picked me up, showed me how to look at it, you know, and, and hopefully that showed you guys how to do that. But uh, so uh, we record the show. We record the show late Sunday night. That's what this is. And but we have it up on Monday morning, so uh, you can help help you get a jump on what moves to make based on the events of Sunday, which we just talked about. Help you prepare for Monday night football, which we just did, and help you get a jump on those darn darn eh, waiver wires. Okay, and. We also released a show on Wednesday uh, that was that was a start set show, which we still haven't got the title of, you know, uh, the uh, still working title of it. So um, make sure and keep an eye out. So on Wednesday morning, you should be getting a um, uh, a episode, you know, or, um, or Thursday. Wednesday, well, is it going to be Thursday Thursday morning or Wednesday morning, uh, Connor? One of those. 
Definitely one of those. <laughs> Coming soon. All right, you'll be before the Thursday game. We'll make sure and get the uh, get those start sits out for you so to help you. Um, if you actually followed the start sit, you know, we were wrong on a couple things, which we owned. But we were right on a lot of things like uh, Connor talked about. So make sure and tune in and uh, check that out. Okay. And, uh, again, we want to go ahead and thank uh, supporters of our show, High Volume Music Radio. You know, download the app. The pride of Sunnyside. You'll make. You'll be happy that you did. Shabba and, shabba. and who sports else? Sports uh, hosts. Download the oh, sports awesome. hosts app. Get on awesome. high volume radio. Do all of those things. Our sponsors are awesome. We're so glad we get to work with them. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. Now we can land that. So you said parting shots. My parting shot would be it's just week one. All right. You know, I, I, I mean, unless uh, you know, the Lord blesses me and and uh, and Derek Henry with forty points. I'm going to lose this game, right? But I'm sorry. That's not part of it. Yeah, that's not part of that. What's what is that? Dude, that's bad. It's my <laughs> parting shots. So, uh, but no, it's it's a remember, dude, it's a marathon, okay? Things are starting to develop. Defenses take time to gel. You know, you, like I like I still like Minnesota Vikings because they have a good schedule, okay? And their time that they take they don't touch Arizona, they don't touch Baltimore, they don't touch Kansas City. Those are three that you stay away from. You know, so um I would say be patient, okay? Be smart. Keep your eye out for things. Take chances when they're, when, whenever you evaluate the risk, right? But, you know, um, just make sure and just be, be patient. Don't freak out just yet. It's just week one. It's a long season. Um, if you lose now, like I probably am, I'm not out of the running for the playoffs. You won't be either. What's your party shot there, Connor? I'm, I, uh, I started Josh Jacobs, and he got me 33 points. Man, how- and I think I'm gonna win week one. And uh, uh, look, guys, this is this is my Jordan year. Uh, we're going for the three peat, baby. That'll probably be the last time I give you a parting shot. All <laughs> right, guys. All right, we're gonna close the show. Okay, so keep an eye out for the start sit show that'll be coming in a couple of days. Okay, so like, subscribe, make sure that you get that. You'll be happy that you did. All right, guys. Remember, everyone, in fantasy, in fantasy, <laughs> in fantasy football as in life, don't dream it. Be it. All right. Talk to you all soon. Or see you all soon. Or you see me soon. You mama. <laughs>